Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I'm gonna show you a fun little card that I made using the Pocket Thoughts bundle. This is a really fun bundle. You've got three different size pockets, and I've got actually three different videos showing you a different way to use each one. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog and check it out. Um, we're gonna use a little cupcake, and you can see the cupcake has a um, second, a two-step stamp if you wanna use it, but we're gonna use Stampin' Blends just because I love using Stampin' Blends. All right, I'm also using, uh, this sentiment is from Pocket Thoughts, but this one right here, hope your day is a happy one, is from the So Sincere stamp set. Really great, all-purpose use type stamp set. All right, well, let's make the pocket first. When you cut, this is the middle size pocket, and when you cut it out, it looks like this. You're gonna score these lines right here, burnish them. I probably should get my bone folder that will help make them nice and crisp. But you don't have a backing. So you've got to cut a piece. Either you're going to adhere it to something else, a card base or whatever. But I wanted to actually create a pocket. So I've this is peach pie. So I've cut this from peach pie and I've cut this from peach pie. And I thought I could remember the measurements, but now I can't remember them off the top of my head. Two and three eighths by three and a fourth. I'm going to use tear and tape. It is very, very humid here in South Texas. Um, so um, liquid glue would probably be the best choice, but I'm going to go with tear and tape. We'll see. I find that the more uh, muggy and humid it, hit, it is here, uh, that the liquid glue just seems to hold a little bit better for me. But I love the way that the tear and tape fits so perfectly there on the strips. All right, the easiest way to get that backing off is to take your take your pick tool and just pull that those off like that. Now we're not going to put anything heavy or big in this pocket, so I'm not worried about you know it holding anything significant. Just going to hold a little tag. But I do want it to stick to the back, so we're gonna stick this down like that. And there you have your pocket. And this holds a gift card perfectly, so you could, if you wanted to, just put a gift card in this pocket instead of the tag. Now the tag is cut from the um, something fancy dies, fancy frame dies. I'll have a supply list for you over on my blog, so jump over there and check it out. I want to stamp, let's see, do I have grid paper? I don't. Okay. I always want to, I like to pre-stamp my stamps to make sure I'm going to get it straight. Yeah, see, that's crooked. I need to go down a little bit on the right. So we'll just flip it over and stamp it like that. There we go. That's much better. I like to have a little grid paper and I stamp it so I can see which way I need to adjust. All right, I've got a piece of our peach pie ribbon and you just need a very small piece. We're going to fold it. And grab your stapler, and we're just gonna staple that right there, and then it just fits in there so nicely. And you could even put a gift card in there as well if you wanted. All right, now we're gonna use some of my favorite paper from our annual catalog. This is the To Market paper. Um, it's got it, the carrots and the veggies and the flowers, um, but we're using these patterns on this side. I love this color combination of Garden green and peach pie. All right, I've got a three by five and a half inch piece that we're gonna put right down the center of our garden green card base. And then I've got two three by four pieces. We'll do the little flower print first. I'm kind of angling it that way and then our little polka dot print, and we'll angle it this way. And then we're gonna put our tag holder right in the middle, like that. All right, let's do our cupcake. And we're gonna stamp our cupcake in memento black, just on basic white. And I am going to use pecan pie light. Let's see, that's dark. This is, oh, I have two darks. Okay, well, we'll go with two darks. Um, first, I would normally start with a light pumpkin pie. And we're going to color the whole thing. 
a little cupcake wrapper. And then I like to take my, after I've done the light, take my dark and go under that to create a shadow like that. Now get your peach pie. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start with my peach pie light. And I'm gonna just color it all in. I'm using the brush tip here because I'm not worried about really staying in any little skinny lines, but I'll switch over in a sec to the bullet tip end as we go in and create some dimension. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the dark and I am gonna switch to that smaller tip. And I'm just gonna add in some dark here on the, some of these swirls. I kind of try to see which ones would be kind of overlapping another one and add that darker there. Um, it's kind of, it's not real easy to do because all these swirls are in and out. So just kind of maybe go every other swirl and add in some dark just to give you that dimension. All right, yummy. Now I'm gonna take my wink of Stella, make it glimmery and shimmery and just extra delicious. All right, now we're gonna fussy cut this with paper snips. And you wanna just stay right on the outside of that black line, leaving just a very narrow, narrow white border. Kind of like leaving a little bit of a cloud around it, a cloud edge. Okay. And then, when you're all done, we're gonna just put it all together. There we go. I have cut out a postage rectangle square, actually, with the perennial postage dies. They're not all rectangles. I always call them the postage rectangles, but there are a couple of squares, too. We'll stamp happy birthday in garden green. Now, I realized I used a retired die on this card. I don't usually like to do that, but I accidentally did the notes of nature um, die. I kind of was going for like a notebook look, kind of where you tear paper out of a notebook. So you could use whatever you want. If you have, um, if you don't have that, just take maybe a ripped edge of a piece of paper. That would be cute there too. Grab my dimensionals and we'll put the square on first, kind of slide that down like that. This was actually a swap card I made for our team swap in June. Super cute. There we go, and we're gonna bring that ribbon back because why not? It's a perfect match. Peach pie ribbon, peach pie cardstock, peach pie ink. Snip that at an angle, and then grab your mini glue dots, and we'll just take one like that. Now, I have also a piece of basic white, and I thought, you know, let's stamp just a couple of these little hearts from the Pocket Thoughts um, stamp set, like that. All right, and then we'll put that on the inside. And there you've got a great birthday card that can be an optional gift card holder if you'd like. All right, I hope you enjoyed this card. Again, make sure you hop back to my blog, Pink Buckaroo Designs and uh, pinkbuckaroo.com and uh, grab, there's a free supply and measurement PDF as well as two other pocket thought projects. Thanks everybody, happy stamping, bye-bye.